Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm, I'm doing a live filming of a demo today. Um, what we're going to do is we're setting up an experiment where we have a, um, a Brandemark implant that is absolutely embedded inside of a stone model. Basically what we did was we took this uh, an old uh, external hex Brandemark uh, implant, placed it in an impression, poured a stone model, and voila. Uh, then we added the standard abutment. And within the standard abutment, I'm just going to unscrew the standard abutment. I'll just show you what we have here. Um, we have an, uh, a standard abutment screw holding in an abutment all tied together. Of course, if uh, you were part of the earlier Brandemark, you understand what's what's going on. So here's the screw. Our, our attempt is to over torque this screw and to see where it fractures. Will it fracture here in the middle portion or will it be right around the screws? Our guess is it's going to be right at the top of the screw head. Let's zoom in on that. You'd almost see that that's probably going to be the weakest point of the link. So that's where we expect to see a fracture occur. All right, so let's back off the magnification. Let's go ahead, take a look inside. Our threads are well below the top of the implant itself, embedded within. I didn't see any aberrations or any problems within the thread, so it looks like we have a very pristine situation here. And there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of information out there about how to take a fractured, uh, how to retrieve a broken or fractured screw, implant screw. Uh, today, I'm just uh, going to experiment and see uh, what uh, what elements are involved in a screw fracture. Our guess, and my guess, is that there's the um, internal connection that has a lot to do with uh, the screw fracture in my mind. So um, I don't think I'm going to be able to prove all that today, but we're going to start initially with uh, tightening. Let's see where we get the fractures. All right, so let's put the driver and it's an external hex driver and we'll start tightening. So I'm right around about 35 newtons right now. <coughs> Continue to tighten 35 and we're about 38, close to 40 newtons. I would think the next spot would be at 40. Going well past 35, I'm now at 37, and it's still turning, still tightening down. Let's go a little bit more. Engaging right now, nothing's gotten loose. We're at 37. Close to 38, 38, it's getting less resistance now, so I can almost tell you that we're going to have a, a fracture, so here we go, 38, 38, can't really get to 40, very loose, okay, so here's 40, uh, it's 40, now it's almost just spinning, so it's either either our screw is fractured already, or the whole implant might be s turning down in the model. We'll see. No, it's the screw that's still turning. I'm well past 40 now. You wonder where the screw is going. <laughs> Let's take a look a lot of rotation so there must be something else occurring. I uh, notice the top isn't being fractured in any way. Alright so we're going to continue our quest. We are at 40 plus. Let's see. Here's 40 and maintaining the integrity of the implant. I'm at 40, 40 plus. Still turning the screw, 40 plus. Okay. All right. 
right, well, there it is. It just fractured. All right, so now we have a screw that's well within the implant itself. So now I'm going to find out, is that a mobile piece or not? Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is take and grab a long explorer. I like to use the endodontic explorers. We'll get one of those out first. And as I showed earlier, some of these instruments are quite sharp. So you got to be careful. You don't want to go off the side of the implant itself. So here's the uh, here's the fracture. Uh, wrong one. Here we go. And the screw is somewhere on the floor. So I'll have to get that in a little bit. All right. Let's see if I can find the pieces. And when I do, I'll be able to show them to you. So here's here's the uh, the abutment. And now let's see if we have a loose component. This is the the moment we were waiting for. So you can see how loose this component is. It's extremely loose. So how do we get that out? And bottom line is you just want to simply rotate it out. So you know you've got a, a loose segment in there. So I'm going to stop. I want to go get that piece and show it to you. We'll pick this up on another film. But just to show you that, you know, if, if a fracture does occur, if it's above, well above the first thread, um, don't panic. You know, you just don't want to send an instrument down there right away. You want to use an explorer to at least initially try to back it out. All right. It's Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We'll pick this up on the next, the next piece on... Uh, retrieving a, a fractured implant screw. Take care.